Let's talk about KPIs in your business. There is a fundamental difference between the two types of business owners who A, track KPIs and B, those who don't. We've been measuring this across our client base and you're gonna be shocked with the results. So if you've been in business for any period of time, you've read any business books, uh, you will know that everyone preaches that you need to track KPIs. And for those of you who don't understand what KPIs are, KPIs are key performance indicators. The idea is that we track these metrics in our business and they allow us to better understand uh, the health of our activity, the health of our business and the health of our results. The ultimate idea here is that by tracking the right KPIs, we can have a better understanding of what needs to be done in order to influence the outcomes that are important to us. And as this kind of saying goes, I believe it was uh, coined by uh, Peter Drucker, what gets tracked gets measured and what gets measured gets improved. And this is the reason why KPIs are so important. Now, when I work with clients, there's typically people who accept the need to track KPIs. Potentially, they've been doing it religiously for a long time, and we may just shift and change the KPIs that are tracked. But then there's those people who fight tooth and nail to not track their KPIs. They they don't have the time, or they don't see the value, um, or they don't know what to track, or that what they do is so variable, there's going to be too many things to track. And this is the exact reason why you need to track KPIs, guys. Now, through working with clients over the course of the last kind of 15 years or so, and we've tracked KPIs for personal wealth, for cash flow, for business, for profitability, for leads, for sales, um, so many different things. Um, they inevitably shift and change over time. Um, that's, a, that's a given. But when we do track these things, whether it be ourselves or our clients tracking these things, that typically we see their results improve on average by about 20 to 30%. Well, why is this? There is a fundamental reason why this happens, guys. When we take the time to actually plan out what we're going to be trying to achieve, right? And we take the time to actually think about the activity, the results that we want, and what is going to be required to get us there. Then we put ourselves in a position where we now use what we call confirmation bias. I made a video about this shortly, uh, a little while ago. That our confirmation bias filters the information that we receive every single day in order to reinforce that bias. So if you've set KPIs around marketing because you know that lead generation is really important to you and you go through the motions of defining, okay, in order for me to achieve my goals, I need 50 leads per month. And then you've gone through the motions of tracking it every single week. Whether you hit it or not, it influences your behavior. And in turn, that influences the results. The confirmation bias plays a really big part in this. Now, for those people who don't track their KPIs, they stay in this world of ignorant bliss, um, is that they ultimately allow their life and their business to unfold around them. They have no control around where their time is allocated. They live in this kind of situation of perpetual chaos. And it's just not a great place to be, guys. You can't expect that you focus on the wrong things and you're going to get the right result. It just doesn't work that way. So how do you fix this? So first things first, the reason why many people don't track their KPIs, aside from not having the time uh, or feeling like it's too complicated, is that they don't wanna come face to face with the fact that they're gonna fall short of their goals, right? Let's say you need 50 leads a month and your history shows that you've only generated 20. Well, it feels pretty shit. We wanna hit our goals that we achieve. So one of the most common cop-outs is that we just don't set the goal, right? If I don't track it, then I can't not achieve it, right? So what we need to realize is that actions and outcomes should be mutually exclusive from each other. Just because you do one does not always presuppose the other, okay? So what I want you to do is I want you to forget about the result. I just want you to focus on the actions. I developed a framework that we call the Aureus Operating System. We run this in our business and we operate it on 12-week cycles. I want you to go and set three goals that you want to achieve over the course of the next 12 weeks. So let's say, for example, you want to crack 200 grand a month in revenue, you want to do 30% profit, and you want to uh, free up your time so you only work 40 hours a week. Beautiful. For each of those goals, I want you to define the top five weekly actions for each of those goals that if you did those weekly actions, you would have a higher chance to achieve those goals. So let's say 200 grand a month. Well, there's probably some lead gen associated with that every week. There's some sales that need to be done. You need to make sure that you actually sign the clients on. Maybe you increase your pricing. Um, There's a various number of things that you could do each week. 
because unless you do that certain amount of activity, the certain number of meetings, the certain amount of leads, you're not gonna achieve the goal. I want you to do that for all three of those goals. So you should have 15 weekly actions. Next, I want you to set a Monday reminder for yourself. 8 a.m. on a Monday for 30 minutes and you're gonna create a weekly planner. You're gonna say, okay, what are my weekly actions that I'm gonna do this week? The important things are gonna move the needle forward. These are the 15 things we've got. What day are you going to do them and potentially do them multiple times? And then plan out your week. Allocate the time in the, in the diary because cash flow follows calendar. And then as a result of implementing this, I want you to do this for 12 weeks and let me know the result. I assure you, you'll be far better off as a result of implementing this planning because you've got the clarity and confidence to execute. Let me know how you go.